boys and girls, this is not a skin flick. Well, there is skin. But it is a video, so keep your Panasonic headphones on. And get your head out of the gutter and get ready to get softer, more supple skin. That means you, big guy, with the rough, burly hands. Yeah, soften up too. If you're looking for anti-aging secrets, natural alternatives, and positive energy, you'll find it here. So click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. In this video, we're gonna be talking about body brushing. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now for the sound effects because I'm in the bathroom. There's nothing in here to condense the sound. Body brushing has some wonderful benefits. I'm gonna get into those with you and show you how I like to use body brushing. We're gonna look at the different brush types, obvious benefits of body brushing, some of the unexpected benefits of it, and contraindications. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video. As you can see, I have two types of brushes. This one is the smaller version, ideal for the face, this one is a body version. They also make one with a handle, but since I'm traveling through Europe for the next couple of months, I pack the smallest, lightest brush. But you'll see how one with a removable handle will certainly come in handy to get to those hard to reach places. I really like to use the face brush to cleanse my face on a daily basis. There's a lot of benefits to using this to stimulate circulation, and it also helps improve the collagen production in the skin. As mentioned in my previous video, which I'll link up right here, I'm gonna show you how I start my routine with the face brush. One of the major benefits of body brushing is to improve the circulation and also as a detoxification process to help flush things towards the lymphatic system and where the lymphatic system drains. This can help boost immunity and also removes toxins from the body. After all, the skin is the biggest organ and it's important to take care of it. So when I do body brushing, I'm always focused on brushing towards the lymphatic system. I start on my face and I work in a circular motion and I work down the face and down through the area of the lymph glands in the neck. I work on each side of the face in small circular motions. Working down the neck. I will complete this process three times on each side of my face. I also work on the mouth and chin area and come straight down the nose area, brushing out where I can bring this down to the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system drains down through the neck region into the underarm areas. We will work down into those areas next. I actually do the face brushing twice a day, once in the morning when I'm in the shower, and then once at night when I remove my makeup. Once I've completed the face and neck area, I'll begin to move down with the larger brush into the body area. As we start to work down into the body area, you can take the larger brush, work from the back of the neck around, the lymph gland area. Once we've worked on the face and neck areas, then we can start to work on the body. Again, working the toxins down to the areas where the lymphatic system drains. We're gonna start with the hand, move up the arm, and to the lymphatic drain area under the arms. Once we get under the arms, we'll move in a circular motion to stimulate the lymphatic system and circulation. You'll repeat this on both sides of the body. Pulling down into the abdomen area and working towards the growing area where the lymphatic system also drains. 
be gentle with the breast tissue areas and work in a circular motion and then down the abdomen area and repeat on both sides equally. Brushing the stomach area is extremely important because it helps to detoxify the body. Next section is a little more trying. This is where the handle comes in handy. As you can see, not having one makes it a little more difficult. Depending on your flexibility and ability to reach around, you can cover quite a bit of territory. But I definitely recommend a handled brush for this area. Again, we're brushing in a downward motion. And as your flexibility will allow, circular motion is even better. Now we're going to focus on the legs and buttocks. I like to start with the feet, working up the legs, and working in a circular motion to stimulate blood circulation, especially in the legs, which can have a tendency to get decreased circulation as we stand or sit throughout the day. This is such a great benefit to the circulatory system of the legs, and it actually feels really good. The legs, hips, thighs, and buttocks areas are some of the most problematic areas for that dimpling of the skin where you can see the cellulite. The exact causes of cellulite and that dimpling in the skin isn't really known. It could be lack of exercise, lack of muscle tone, excessive fat, poor circulation, or change in hormones. There are many speculations. But I doubt seriously you're going to find a cream or over-the-counter product that's going to cure the problem. One well-known fact is that women do seem to get it more often than men. Exercise can certainly help. Cardio is best. Your diet does play a big factor in most things with the body. And it's possible that some studies are showing the cellulite and the dimpling could be linked to toxins gathering in the fat cells, possibly from foods like saturated fats, high corn oil products, and possibly even high fructose corn syrup. Cigarette smoking and alcohol definitely adversely affect the skin. Cigarette smoking actually decreases circulation and alcohol turns to glucose in the body, weighting down collagen and making it less effective in the body. For more on why your collagen may not be working for you, check this video out here. I'll link it up in the description below and at the end of this video so you can finish watching this one first. Body brushing is actually very therapeutic mentally. It can be seen as a form of meditation and it actually relaxes you as you go through the process. There are so many positive benefits to body brushing. I challenge you to grab your brush and give it a try and comment below to share your experience. Or if you're currently already doing body brushing, what benefits you've seen from it. Body brushing helps reduce the appearance of cellulite, eliminate those dead skin cells, so that when you apply your moisturizers, they don't just sit on top of the skin, they can actually absorb in the skin. You wanna make sure that you're using something that does absorb into the skin. One of my favorite natural products to use for moisturization after my body brushing is virgin coconut oil. One of the benefits for me is helping to improve that circulation in the extremities. Body brushing also promotes fat distribution. That's why it's so great for the buttocks area where we have a lot of cellulite. The buttocks and the thigh areas can be prone to cellulite. So body brushing 
can be really beneficial for those areas. Today I did a dry body brushing, but I will also use my brush in the shower. Dry body brushing helps promote nutrient absorption into the skin because it sloughs off those dead skin cells so that the skin can actually absorb healthier moisturizers. It rejuvenates our central nervous system and stimulates the nerves that are atopical in the skin. It can enhance digestion and kidney functionality. It smooths and tightens skin. It's a big stress reliever and it actually promotes happiness. There are some contraindications for body brushing and those would include eczema or any type of skin rash, especially poison ivy, poison oak, or allergic skin reaction. Anyone with any type of hypersensitivity to their skin would not want to do body brushing. And you certainly do not want to do body brushing if there are any injuries to the skin or open wounds. So avoid those areas when body brushing. So that's how I like to do body brushing and incorporate it into my daily routine for all the health benefits that I mentioned. Remember, one of those is to stimulate collagen production. By stimulating collagen production, we're also help fighting the aging process. I'm 53, I'm proud of my age, and I work really hard to take care of myself, body, mind, and spirit. I'm Penny Morgan. Stay body positive so you can reap the rewards. Are you interested in the benefits of intermittent fasting and the keto lifestyle on aging? Check out some of these videos or join our Facebook group. Order the book Stop Bitching, Eat Keto, Lose Weight available on Amazon. I'll drop those links below in the video description along with the free downloadable Yummy Keto Coffee recipe.